everyone. Welcome back to calendar. Let's start with the flag salute. Right hands ready. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. all. Red, white, and blue, we love you. You remember that, right? Well, it's our new month. Does anyone remember what the new month is? Starts with an M, has an A and a Y. If you guessed May, you're right. Wow, I can't believe it's May. There's only a few days in May to count. But you can do it with me. You ready? Let's find the one. I think it was on Friday. There we go. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. You're right. It's May 4th. Let's go up and see what day it is. We always have calendar on Monday. Today is Monday. Let's find out what the weather is. The weather is, starts with a W. I see a cloud there and a breeze. Do you know what weather word that is? Windy. It is windy today. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I would have asked Mrs. Meow to help me with the days of the week, like we used to do in class with Mr. Meow. But Mrs. Meow takes a lot of naps. She's a little lazy. Um, so let's see. What holidays do we have in May? Let's go back to the calendar. If you notice, we don't have any birthdays. But we do have a special holiday tomorrow on Tuesday. I see pictures of maracas there. The holiday that we're celebrating tomorrow is called Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May. Oh yeah, tomorrow's gonna be the 5th of May. Now, let's talk about Cinco de Mayo a little bit. I have some things to help us. Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican holiday. This is a picture of the Mexican flag. On Cinco de Mayo, the Mexicans celebrate being free from Spain. So they celebrate with a party called a fiesta. Oh, preschoolers love to party, right? Sometimes when they party, they wear a special hat called a sombrero. Can you say that word? Sombrero. I think Miss Kathy has one of those. I left mine in the classroom. Oh, and they love to play lots of music, just like with a mariachi band. And one of my favorite instruments to make music with are called maracas, maracas. And I just happen to have something with me today that I usually make in preschool with my friends. I usually take an old Easter egg, just like this one, and I fill it with something to make noise. You can put pasta like I did, or dried beans, or anything that makes a little bit of noise, rice maybe. You close up your old Easter egg, and you get a little bit of tape, just so that it doesn't fall apart. Sometimes I put one on one side, and I put one on the other. Then what I do, is I take two plastic spoons. If you have these in your house, you can make one too. Or you could just look at mine right now. And I also take a special piece of tape called washi tape. My girls love to craft and we have lots of this kind of tape at home. Washi tape is like a colorful tape that just has patterns on it. It could be any color. Mine has happens to have a um, Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. And then I take an old hair tie or an elastic band and I do this. And when 
it's all done, you could tape up the, the spoon again. You could shake it. And there you go, you have some maracas. You can make some music with your maracas. It's fun to make maracas. It's fun to make lots of music for a fiesta. And I was thinking, you know what? Since we're celebrating, and we can't do our months in Spanish. I know that sometimes in preschool we did our months in Spanish. Maybe we can do our colors in Spanish and our shapes. You ready to do this with me? You really have to listen for this. So get ready, okay? This is the color red, right? But in Spanish, it's rojo. This is the color yellow. But in Spanish, it's amarillo. This is the color pink. But in Spanish, it's rosa. This is green. But in Spanish, it's verde. This one is blue. And in Spanish, it's very different. It's azul. Then we have our purple. That's my favorite color. Morado. Oh, I like saying that. Morado. That sounds nice. And orange. Naranja. That's a tricky one. And white is blanco. Here we go. And how about some shapes? Okay. These are tricky for me too. So excuse me if I'm not saying them 100% correctly for all my Spanish speaking friends out there. This is a circle, círculo, an oval, óvalo, a square is a cuadrado, a star is a estrella. Let's go to diamond. A diamond is a rombo. Kind of like rhombus when we learned that word. Remember that? Rhombus, rombo. Triangle, triangulo. Rectangle, rectangulo. Hey, that sounds a lot alike. And heart. Heart is corazón. I like those. That's fun. It's fun to learn new things. Okay, so I was going back to the calendar and when I saw Cinco de Mayo, I also saw another holiday that's coming up on Sunday. And I see some flowers and it says Mother's Day. So I was thinking maybe on Friday I'll send you a special video lesson and come in for a secret. I'm going to tell you a secret. We are going to make a present, a, a picture for mom on Friday's video lesson. Okay, so make sure you tune in Friday and get that email link and you can watch and we can make it together, okay? That way, if we do it on Friday, we'll be ready for Mother's Day on Sunday, okay? We can make a beautiful picture. And um, I do have one more thing to talk about before I leave you. I wanted to talk about the letter of the week. Does anybody know what letter that is? It's the letter that comes after T. We had our tea party last week, remember that? So, hmm, and it's before V. So you might have to sing the alphabet to try to remember that. Or maybe you know this letter. This letter is U. Yes, it is. It's U. And there's a big U and a lowercase U. And here's some pictures that go with you. This is an arrow for up. Uh. U, up, uh. I also can turn my arrow around and it could be for under. Yeah, on Wednesday, we're gonna have a special under lesson. We'll talk about that more on Wednesday. This is an umbrella, U for umbrella. <laughs> and I had to put in my silly underpants, right? U is for underpants. And unicorn. You can say his name because it's a vowel. So you can say unicorn. Well, that's a really pretty unicorn. So there's lots of fun things planned for this week. I will see you tomorrow for our Fiesta for Cinco de Mayo. And I'll see you on Wednesday for a special a special under lesson, but I'm not gonna tell you what that is, I'll surprise you. And on Friday, I will see you for our special Mother's Day video. 
And uh, don't forget today to check out our story. It's called Aliens Love Underpants. And it's really great. I used to have a lot of fun with it in preschool. Bye!